first off, give the shout outs. If you ain't gone to a cult, a cult corner store yet, nigga, go. Um, if you're interested in practical magic and learning how to actually do it and not just say Kundalini melanin and, and light code, holler at your boy, get into the guild. All oh, that shit's in the description. Um, but that's not what the fuck I want to talk about. Um, morning, D4. Good to see you in the chat. Oh, I guess I should wave to people. I'll, 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 I'll do the wave. There you go. Uh, what I want to talk about, um, it's man shit, bro. It's man shit. Um, if you have wa- not watched the Timeless Knowledge Tour, if you have not listened to the Black Phillips show at least once, you're way behind. And and I know it sounds like, hey, Aries, there's Aries again telling me what to do. Fuck this nigga. Okay, cool. It, I, I see the I see a young nigga. You out there? You got it. You know. You know what you know. Okay, cool. Which is nothing, but all right. But look, man, because it's like clockwork. So I'm going to keep saying it because it's going to take you about two years before you start to figure it out, too. And you'd be like, damn, here's the thing, that one thing you said. And I'm like, nigga, I said like 30 things. The one just hit you two years later. I'm telling you guys, you got to get in here, man. Do your thing, bro. You got to get a wave, man. I'm trying to keep it up with the waves, bro. I'm out here. But, yo, if you haven't checked out the Timeless Knowledge Tour, please do. Please do. It's I got plenty of content. Niggas is ridiculous. Like ridiculous. Like motherfuckers will spend all day looking at reels and wonder why it took them two years to get a simple concept. Because you spent most of your time looking at reels and not looking at the concept. <laughs> it's tight though, man. Y'all niggas be sending me way too many reels. I'm like, what? How do you have time to watch all these reels? Anyway, anyway, excuse me. Look, I ain't got I ain't got time to watch the long form content areas. What you mean, bro? That's more than a couple hours. Nigga, you had 24 of them bitches every day. Fuck you mean. Anyway. Uh, Because look, like I said, it's like clockwork. Uh, Dudes will come back around and say, hey, man, this this, is one thing you said over here. And I'm like, okay, look at the other things, though, please. Like, because it's your life that's at stake, bro. I can't stress that enough. I can't stress it enough. Cause, Cause, no one seems to get it right away. Like it's, it sounds like I'm being dramatic. It sounds like I'm being metaphorical. What's good, Nappy? Good to see you in the thing, man. Um, it sounds like I'm being, uh, what's the word? It sounds like I'm exaggerating. That's not the word though. Uh, it sounds like I'm, like I'm, I'm, I'm hyping it up, like I'm capping, like I'm, like not, not necessarily like I'm capping, but like. I'm making a big deal out of something that's nothing like bruh it's your life that's at stake like fuck the spiritual shit for a second like that's what I'm saying motherfuckers trying to make it all spiritual and they don't even understand spiritual and so you confuse yourself about everything <laughs> like fuck <laughs> slow down man it, it, but like going out here and, and, and dealing with women bro this ain't just going and getting some pussy and you feeling nice because she think you cute and she let you do what what females let males do all over the planet like you're not special but i get before you ever get some pussy before you ever touch a titty you know you're looking and it's like oh my god how do i ever do that but i'm telling you bro they all have vaginas and titties and so it's not something to like most all of them are pretty and look even the pretty ones you'll still do it you have to get out of that that's it's old stuff it's 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 what you can do as a kid as you're growing up bro but look by the time you hit your 30s man you don't want to be figuring this stuff out you want to have put yourself in a trajectory you know so that's what i'm saying go back and watch go watch the timeless knowledge store don't watch it and feel good about it chew on the shit chew on the shit bro because look i can't i ain't trying to give niggas the shit i never had i still ain't got it fuck you talking about I tell a nigga shit nobody ever told me. All right, because like dudes don't understand the degree to which you have, you really do have to raise a woman. Like it's not, it's not a slight to say it. Like, see, you listen to women, and women got this side of pride right now. It's the Lilith pride. Like that's that's why the Lilith shit was such a a, a controversy in heaven. Not because oh who should be equal. It's like no, are you, you're literally. I just made you, and you're literally going against the order. It's showing you that that's part of reality. It's not to say, oh, I'm going to be the dark feminine and the little like that. 
Anyway, like I said, niggas confuse spirituality with regular physical mundane shit, and then they get confused about everything. Bro, you gotta raise a woman. This is why. This is why they would give the young woman to a grown ass man because you gotta raise her. I ne- see. I never heard that out of a woman's mouth until I was grown, bro. Never ever heard it out of a dude's mouth ever. Didn't know neither. I know they didn't know. I know the niggas they came up on. The fuck you mean? See, it's one thing if you didn't know your parents and you know your daddy or something and, and you have no idea how your daddy grew up. Nah, I know how my dad grew up. At least I have a good idea. Fuck you talking about. The dark fam is still going crazy. Bro, the dark fam, these motherfuckers are ridiculous. They just, motherfuckers will say a spooky thing to justify whatever bullshit they already want to do. Like, bro, people really don't comprehend the role that religions and cultures played in our life. They take the human shit for granted. You want to run off based on how you feel. Bro, them feelings evolved in the jungle. <laughs> Those feelings are not the route to having the benefits of a civilization that everybody thinks they deserve. A good childhood, that's a benefit of a civilization. A, a, a strong family unit, and social structure, that's a benefit of the civilization. And you don't get those working on individualism uh, and, and and the emotions that you have. Your emotions, you feeling confident about something is not, is not validity. But it's, 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 Bryce, it's... Right? You got to get some FDB in your life. All you fellas, you need some FDB. If you don't know what FDB is... Just go, go go on Spotify and look up FDB. If you see Young Dro, then click it. Okay? I haven't heard that concept until you put it forward. I had already been doing it, but with a weak backbone. Raising my woman with a jelly backbone. Exactly, bro. Like, you ever seen somebody who, who, who got kids and they try and be their kid's best friend all the time? And the kids are fucked up? It's like that. It's like, that's what I'm saying. Don't nobody put us on game. Don't nobody put us on game. It's, it's not to say whether or not somebody should. Boo-hoo, ha-ha. But... But, look, we don't get put on game. And so that's what I'm doing. Putting you on game. Trying to put you on some game. Not telling you, hey, you're wrong. I mean, you're probably wrong, but that ain't got nothing to do with me. Um, you get, you got to understand these things. Because I know I didn't understand nothing. I, I, I was waist deep before I started to see anything. And most niggas don't see nothing because they're not looking. They listen to and do what they're told. Because, you know, they, this is what you're supposed to do as a man. We're always taught about what we're supposed to do as a man, not what we're supposed to expect from anyone. As a matter of fact, you're supposed to expect nothing from anyone ever in any in any situation. Look, this is your life that's at stake because there's nobody out here that has any conception that what you are, even you, is valuable in any way, aside from how it's a utility. And that's nature. That's nature. I say it, it's not because something some, something should be another way. But because if you don't understand this, you will you will undercut your own value. You will undercut the, your own value. If you don't understand the value that you bring, you are a mark. You are a mark. And and whole culture is rampant. I'll be I would love to debate a motherfucker talking about rape culture. That's ridiculous. Ain't no fucking rape culture. Whole culture is rampant. See, look, motherfuckers, I remember, out their neck, misogyny. Say it, say it to me. Okay, I bet you don't know what the word misandry means. And once again, I don't say this as, oh, it should be another way. I'm saying it is don't expect anyone to get it. And they're not, no one's coming to your rescue. It's, it's just part of the format. It's part of the format. What's a mark? Like hoes, like hoes, like pimps. Whole culture is rampant. Yeah, <laughs> little big just ain't a mark. <laughs> That's the thing. You don't have to be. It's a choice. It's a choice. It's a choice. It's not an easy one. It's not as easy as said. No, of course not. But fuck, what's easy? Where the, where the mash food at? Get the fuck out of here, bro. <laughs> Get this to work. Put it in, cause no one else is gonna put it in. As a matter of fact, everybody gonna come with their mouth open. And if you say anything against it, you bitching. I mean, that's a, that's a mindfuck. 
Bitches ain't bitching when they bitching, but when a dude bitch, he's bitching. That's funny. <laughs> bitches ain't bitching when they bitching, but when a dude bitch, he bitching. See, look, man, I'm telling you, just just the idea of you having any complaint, any 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 controversy about what the way the lot you're given. Not a lot to question it at all. Even to the degree to which it's in your own family. Your own household. You have to, you have to stand for something. I, bro, I was talking, I was talking to another dude the other day, man. He was. And I hate it, bro. I hate it because I feel it and I know it. I've been it. He he's always the kind of he, he's consistently the kind of guy who's reasonable, rational. When, when his woman is going ridiculous, he's like, no, look, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be reasonable about this. I'm not going to, I need to raise my voice. You know, I'm just going to walk away. I, I don't have to deal with this confrontation. And I'm like, look, bro, as far as men are concerned, that's the honorable thing to do. I got you. Like, I, I 100% validate all of that shit. In the realm of men, yes, you doing it, bro. But as far as women understand, dude, you look like a bitch. And it's not because you are. Like, that's the scary shit about women. The, the, the way they move ain't based on what's real. It's based on how they feel about what's real. Or, 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 or how you feel. They... Stop. <laughs> and so I was telling him, look, bro, every time you do that, when she going crazy and you just, you don't show her the level of, I ain't taking this shit no more, she'll assume you, you don't have it. Because it, it's girl math, bro. It, if she can punk you, she doesn't feel like the world can't do it too. If she can manipulate you with with with, with, with sexual this uh, just easily, and you do everything and anything, her mind, girl math, anyone can do that. Bitches don't respond to reason. You gotta smash some drywall and patch that bitch up to show how handy you are. <laughs> look, look, he got the technique. <laughs> <laughs> just keep a, just keep the drywall patch in the closet under the under clothes like it's Christmas presents. <laughs> Shit, bro, that's funny. <laughs> oh, let's see. Look, you can live that way, bro. But I, man, I go through enough shit. I'm not trying to live that way. I'm, I'm not. So you have to be willing to go there, bro. You have to, because they 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 don't get it until they get it, bro. And they don't get it from reason. It something in their feelings has to go boom first, and it has to. It probably, if she, if she a little, if she, if she's real prideful, it's gonna have to go boom a couple times in a couple different ways. But that's like, like if some if you were talking to somebody about raising kids, this would be a given. It'd be an understanding. It wouldn't be a slight to say it against the motherfucker being raised. But, but. The way women's pride is set up now, they can't hear that. So you can't expect them to say it. You can't expect dudes who, who repeat what women say to say it. And you, bro, you have to raise a woman. Ain't no guidebook on it no more. See, that's what your cultures and religions were for, man. They gave they they gave you the keys based on how you live. But now, now everybody live in massive backyard until you damn yell at them. Sometimes they gotta go further. Like, bro, some, and this is what I'm saying, man. We don't get, we don't get the space to to analyze the reality we live in, bro. I know, I, I've heard it. Some of these bitches, you, and I'm not telling you to go hit a bitch, but there's some motherfuckers that will not respect anyone who hasn't done it. Like, you ever see those bitches who get beat the fuck up and just will not leave? Bro, it's some, that's some nature, bro, stop, stop. What's the, what's the, um, what's the thing that, that, that you get when you fall in love with your rapist? Men almost never get it. There's a thing called hybristophilia, where, uh, women fall in love with, with hardened criminals. Okay, like, there's some nature shit going on we're not allowed to analyze and speak about, because women's pride is set up a certain way. And men, men's pride is set up a certain way. Now, the jellyfish backbone, like you were saying, bro. Stockholm Syndrome. There we go. Yeah, Stockholm Syndrome. Like, dude, there's some nature shit going on that we don't get to talk about because it ain't politically correct. Why, what, isn't it funny? Politically correct went from white to, 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 to feminist to intersectionality. Now, that's politically correct. Now, all kind of, don't, know, don't nobody know what nothing is no more. 
fuck you mean? Don't nobody know what nothing is no more. It's all right, though. That's what I'm saying, bro. It's your life that's at stake. <laughs> you on the plate and you don't realize it. I'm telling you, it's your life that's at stake. And every, almost everyone you know, I'm not, I'm not going to say almost. I'm going to say everyone because you don't know me. Everyone you know is doing it too. I'm telling you. What's up, Alchemy23? Good to see you, man. Right. The Timeless Knowledge Talk. Please check it out. Um, episode, I think it was 40 and 41 of, of, of the shitstorm. Right. There's so, like, y'all motherfuckers sitting around spending all day watching reels and you behind in the game. Your neck on the line, you behind in the game. What's the excuse? Reels? Bruh, stop. I'm so done. I'm so done. That's why. I, that's why I'm not leaning into making content, bro. I have so much content, niggas don't watch. They'll ask me the dumb, the dumb question, and be scared to ask a dumb question. So they spend two years waiting to ask a dumb question they could have just asked, and they only have the dumb question because they didn't look at the source material. That's it. You have and really real shit, bro. You learning something? You got to ask a dumb question at least two or three times to make sure you understand what you're talking about. Niggas are scared to learn, bro. I'm a school trauma. And you out here, that's what I'm saying, behind in the game, but you watching reels all day. Like that shit, that shit baffles me. It baffles me. But I, I but I, like I said, it's the whole reason I did, part of the reason I did the fucking live today. I was talking to eight ears that one thing you said long ago. And I'm like, bro, I said like 30 things. You, you behind in the game. You got, you behind in the game, bro. And I, like, you hear me say, you be like, oh, Aries is picking on me. Aries is just being a dick. Okay, I'm being a dick and I'm picking it on you, but you're behind in the game. What should I do? Hug you and give you a titty I don't have? Fuck out of here. Ignorance is the precursor to knowledge. Yeah, before you know some shit, you got a lot know some shit. And you can't be too comfortable with how little you know. You can't be too comfortable with how little you know. That's what I'm saying. All this, all this go with the flow type shit gonna leave you ass out. And once you ass out, you're going to be confused as to why you're getting fucked. But stop. These niggas, bro. You behind in the game. You got a head full of reels. You know what all the latest gossip is. You know what the celebrities talking about. You know what Biden and Trump is doing, bro. What the, what's up with you? You tell me about the elites, numerological code. You know, most of the time that shit be wrong as fuck. Niggas don't know what the fuck they talking about. Oh, you can tell me, oh, that's, this must be a ritual. Bro, you niggas are behind in the game. You full of reels. Reels and half-ass conspiracy theories, bro. Because, look, you could get the whole scoop on cons- cons- this conspiracy shit. It's all public knowledge. But you got to do more than watch the reels, bro. You got to hit the you gotta hit the source material. You, you got to hit it. You got to hit the shit like it's going to hit you back. Fuck you mean. <laughs> nah, some of you niggas, if you know you're going to get hit back, you won't even hit it all. Bro, stop. Oh, man. Look, bro, y'all behind in the game, man. I know because I was behind in the game at your age. I didn't even know. I didn't even know there was stuff to know. I thought I knew it because ladies had told me and I felt good about it. Let's stop telling y'all niggas you're behind in the game. Most of niggas don't even know what the game is, bro. You, you the prize. The world makes new 24-year-old women every year. Boom, boom, boom. What you like, 18? Boom, boom, boom. Hey, look, they got they got them young even different places, bro. Boom, boom, boom. The, the world always makes them. And you don't have to do anything for them to be beautiful and young. For you to be a man, there's things that got to get done. The world don't just make those. You make those. Bruh. It'll all be so simple. My ignorance started beating me the fuck down. That's what it's gonna do, man. Hey, it's ignorant. <laughs> it's ignorant. <laughs> your ignorance is a nigga. You're so in a nigga. Hell yeah, man. And it's look, there's, there's parts of it that are necessary, inevitable, but but you have to get away from the from being willfully ignorant. That's how you know when you when you when you start to get close to the inevitability of certain parts of your ignorance, uh, which is which is where you where you want to work from. You know, like I said, some parts of ignorance are inevitable. That's where you want to work from when it comes when dealing with ignorance. The the, the necessary part, um, okay, cool. That's that's how most people are going to be. You can't get around that. Most everything in the physical world is going to act in accordance to the physical world. That's ignorance. But the willfully ignorant, ha ha, look at me, I'm the fool, ha, that's why I said what I said, ha ha ha. No, like, bro, slow down, chill out. 
like that's usually the capping that's the willful ignorance you want to get away from the willful ignorance it's the places where you where you're ignorant but you don't have to be that's willful ignorance like right? because some people use that ignorance as an excuse just to be a dumbass or just not to do all their research or to justify hey i don't know that much so i can just kind of chill and relax and get to know it slowly like bruh no your neck is on the line Niggas need a test or an outline to go learn something. Before before the colonizer school, you had to have an outline? Somebody had to test you? They had to have test scores for you to comprehend and learn? No. You behind in the game because you don't know how to learn. I can you can you can repeat me saying thinking about your thinking, but until you start doing it, you don't really get what I'm saying. You don't get what I'm saying. <laughs> Every time you think you get it, you feel good. You feel like we on teams. Uh uh-uh, uh, you missing it. No, you ain't even qualified to be on a team. I love it. I I love it, but you're not. Get out the get out the feeling. Cause if I can, don't eat your kids. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Keep the timeless knowledge tour, please. The, the 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 principles of masculine monstrous masculinity. Each principle had a practice and a theory side. It's it's, it's, it's not just hey Arius got something to say. Hey, let's say what he said. We're friends. No, Bruh. Then you realize you still don't get it. Yeah, you got to keep. You never have to stop wiping your ass. You got to keep working on this. The farmer don't ever have to stop farming. <laughs> he implements systems to make his job better and better, easier and easier, more efficient and more efficient. Not so he can ultimately never have to do anything, but because so he, he works better. Oh God, TikTok TKT is where it's at. I thought he said TikTok, but I was about to get hurt. No, uh, yeah, man. Look, look, tick, look, peep the shit, bro. Go in there, study, it, talk to it. Like hit, hit your homie up with it. Y'all niggas talk about it. Not because it's gonna make areas famous. Fuck, nobody give fuck what y'all niggas are talking about. You talk about it because you have you need someone to talk about it with. You need to be able to, to chew on it. That's how that's part. Some of you niggas can't talk without can't think without talking. And so I'm telling you to talk about it with somebody because you don't think unless you're talking. <sighs> yeah, bro, get you and your homie, man. Both y'all niggas watch that shit and 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 go back and forth on some of the ideas. Shit. I do talk to the homies with it. Don't talk, don't talk to them like you teaching it to them. Cause talk to them from a place where you don't get it either. I know, I know a lot, but you got that with the nice shirt on and the matching pants. You start to, hey man, look, really, this is what you would do. That's so funny to me. I'm a piece of shit. I'm a dick. Yes, I'm a piece of shit. I'm a dick, but I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm really not being wrong. I'm not just trying to pick one. Uh, would inevitable ignorance be path to child? Um, no, inevitable ignorance. If, if if you were to correspond them to paths, which I wouldn't necessarily, um, I wouldn't necessarily say. I mean, I, I, you could make an argument for it, so I'm not really, I'm not really against it. But if you were going to correlate it, it'd be more so path of the father. Necessary ignorance is path of the child. If you were to to correlate those like that there's necessary willful and inevitable don't hate because i'm beautiful i don't nigga i'm more beautiful fuck you me you niggas is beautiful because i started that shit fuck you talking about <laughs> oh shit oh shit um that's spiritual stuff. That's oh my god, because I'll get I get into the spiritual shit. Look, Linus, make sure you win the session today, bro. We can we can get into the practical magic shit in the guild. Oh. This bro, I'm I'm, I'm hitting that. Shit. I mean, motherfuckers are doing great. Now. That's, that's wonderful, bro. I love the motherfuckers who showing up, who actually getting past the level of asking, like feeling scared to ask a question. I'm so ugly. I'm pretty. Fuck you, V. <laughs> I'm so ugly, a pretty nigga. <laughs> Hell yeah, bro, be there. Look, and all you motherfuckers out here with the spiritual simping and the panic pretending, bro, get in the guild, man. Quit playing. 
Like, yeah. there's some fundamentals. There's some basics. Check the YouTube. You know what I'm saying, bro? I got more content than most niggas can, can watch at all. And it's dense. It ain't just me telling fucking stories. It's dense. And motherfuckers gonna have the audacity. Hey, bro, I watch your shit all the time. Okay, what's your question then? No, I ain't got no questions, boy. You ain't watch it. You just had me as background music while you was not paying attention. What you mean you ain't got no questions? Spit it back to me. Yo, 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 nah, really, bro. Nah, bro, don't play me. Uh, the, the guild opens back up. Um, damn, crazy. Uh, the end of March, beginning of April. It's the very last week of March and the very first week of April. There's a calendar up on the uh, on the app. Like I said, you click the little link, it'll take you straight to it. It's got all the documentation. It can answer all the questions. I don't want to ask questions, but check the check the YouTube lives, bro. Like, cause I I know so much about this, bro. I can give away I can give away information, valuable information all day. I have enough for years of content. But because I know exactly where you're gonna trip. I know why you're gonna trip. I've seen I've seen you trip, not just you specifically, but you and the rest of these niggas trip over the same thing over and over and over and over again. I know where you're gonna trip. So I don't I can give you I can give you almost everything I know. I know you're still not gonna know how to use it. Because it's the it's the very simple, subtle part. What is you when you hadn't considered it? Because you don't know what you're dealing with. So of course you didn't consider it. <sighs> it's alright. But and see that, bro? That's just spiritual stuff, man. That ain't got nothing to do with with how you how you necessarily live your life as a male. That's I'm so serious, bro. Y'all niggas is behind in the game, and you and I'm not saying that to to pick on you. You're behind in the game because you haven't been put on game, and you think you've been put on game enough because you feel like a little a little girl will smile at me. You can get some little dumb bitch to give some vagina. Nigga, monkeys can give away vagina. Like that's not impressive. You impressed with it because that's the, that's the ceiling you've got, bro. All of them have a vagina. Well, almost all of them, I guess. It's 2024. You gotta watch out. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! That's so funny, man. It hurts, but it's funny. Uh yeah, man. You ain't even put on game. You've been underdeveloped. You've been underdeveloped. You got the mantra, tap into your feminine, tap into your feminine. And you just raised by all these fucking women. And any dudes you know, mostly just been raised by women. Okay. She ain't for the streets, she for the state. And they don't even know. It's Willie Lynch 101. Like, motherfuckers would be like, oh my God, yo, we don't know if it was really a person. Who give a fuck? Is this shit happening? Like, fuck you mean? Motherfuckers is... A- but I get it though. You're disconnected from your history. You're disconnected from the past. You're disconnected from how you're connected to it. So you can't project yourself into the future. You don't know how to tell what's meaningful, what's what's reasonable, what makes sense. You know what feels right. And you don't even know how you know that. Which is God, that's like what babies run on. Literal infants. Don't even get me started on the the infant shit on the legal side, bro. You're behind in the game. You're behind in the game and you're too comfortable with the fact that you're behind in the game. Don't try and pretend like you a slow and steady nigga. You're not. You're not. You just, you you lazy. You don't do, you don't do when you could. I'm not saying do all the time and go balls to the wall and break yourself. You don't have to go emotionally extreme. I didn't even suggest that. But you do have to choose. You have to make choices. You can't just wait for life to to force you to play your hand. You have to lay the cards down the way you looking at it. You got to look at it. You know, that's how I feel. Bro, you ever play spades with a nigga don't know how to play spades? But that's kind of the initiation. You got to, you got to, you got to be the motherfucker who don't know and get in there and get your ass whooped a lot. You can't talk across the table and you lose books for reneging. Most of most you can tell a motherfucker, look, you get the rules, bro, play to win. Play to win. Even if it's an experienced person, they weren't looking at the cost. Oh shit, I don't know who dropped that. Play to win, bro. You gonna cut me. You weren't even paying attention. You should have paid attention. That was the problem. 
Mm-hmm. You behind in the game, bro. But it's not because I'm saying it. It's not just because I'm saying it. It's not just because I'm... Because I'm, I'm only better at the shit I'm good at. Competency is its own reward. The, the reward for becoming competent in something is the competency you've developed. If you're not competent in anything, you can't be, you can't just be comfortable with that. I'm not telling you to be comfortable with everything, competent in everything. I don't, I don't even want you to go be a, a jack of all trades. Because sometimes, I, and I know I tried to do this when I was young, you, you, you do it so you can become novel in so many different situations where, it, where it'll feel like you're, you're very useful, but you're only useful up to a certain point in almost everything. So you've mastered nothing. You need to master something. You have time. You really don't have to put in to put in the work till 30 once you have something mastered, but you need to take the time to master something. You need to take the time. If you look at a two-hour video and that's daunting, you you way behind in the game. You way behind in the game. There's so much free game out here. There's so much free game. And it's not in the reels. You're not going to get it in, in 15 seconds. You're not going to get it in a minute and a half. Because look, you'll take two hours watching a bunch of minute and a half videos and be like, yeah, bro, I watch a lot of stuff on that. No, you don't. Fill out. Don't tell me how many videos you watch. I want. I want. I want to comp, uh, comp, How many hours have you watched? Because you you tell me I've, I've watched about two hours of that. That to me that's less than a video. That's less than a video. The global world. This is a big fucking world out here. It's a big fucking world out here. It ain't easy. But it's there. You can, you can make a whole big ass lake. You know, you can get all the horses and say, hey, here's the signs to the water. You can show them, hey, I'm drinking the water. Oh, it's good, ain't it? Can't get the horse to drink. The horse, like, no, nah, I ain't even thirsty. Boy, stop. Okay. Okay. Hey, man, all I can do is tell a nigga, bro. It's figuring out something to master a choice, and how do you make that choice? You fuck up. <laughs> you fuck up. <laughs> you trust it, and you fuck up. You trust it, and you fuck up, and you end up in a place you never would have expected. I, mean, I know one thing uh, my younger brother did that I really I, I really did respect. I thought it was really good. Um, he went and, and made himself an apprentice of a dude who works in a, a car shop. And he learned how to he learned how to fuck, how to fucking fix cars off of apprenticing himself to somebody who was doing something he was interested in. Didn't mean he had to dedicate his whole life to it, but oh, it opened him up to a range of other things he could see that he wasn't able to see before. Not because something was wrong with him before, but because he hadn't availed himself the opportunity. You gotta put yourself out there. You gotta go fuck up. <laughs> Risk taking an L. But see, girls at, 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 at y'all's age, bro, they don't have the space to risk taking it out. Look what I had doing all this desperate, stupid shit. You, as a male, have the room to do that. We, we mature later and for longer. <laughs> Get out there and try some shit. You ain't got to go too far, bro. You guys, 2024, bro, you got the internet. You can learn something sitting at home. But it's, it's actually devote yourself to learning something. Not so somebody will pay you for it, so that you're a master of it. So that you know it. Like, there's got to be something you want to know. If it's not, then my, my, I, my dude, I guarantee you, you have a shallow understanding of everything you think you know. If you have nothing that you want to know, I guarantee you, everything you think you know is shallow. There's no way you don't have a thing you want to know in life. You haven't looked hard enough. Study it to know thyself approved. Yeah, study to know yourself approved. Thyself approved. Uh, often tried, willing, never denied, and willing to be tried again. Often tried, never denied, and willing to be tried again. That's the master. 
That's the master. You gotta master something. And not so, not, it's not for the clout. It's so that you can be competent. You have to become competent in something. You know, back in the day, all you could really ever have the opportunity to become competent in is whatever your family business was, whatever your trade was. Now the world is open to you, bro. You can be comp- you can become competent in anything you want to, but you have to take the time. And the only way you're going to be able to take the time is you stop squandering at other things. I'm not saying never squander any of your time. I didn't say that. I said stop squandering on the places where you don't have to. I don't understand how y'all watch so many reels, bro. There's so much game out here. There's so much game out here. You're behind in the game. Nobody put you on game. Nobody was put on game. Niggas have lost the game because they abandoned it long ago. Okay. They thought they thought Massa's ice was colder. <sighs> get back in the game, bro. Just get a little bit. Get a little bit of it. Don't don't come tell me, hey, bro. I watched all your videos. I don't need to cap. Just do something with it. If you watched it for real, you do something. With it. Go build something. What's your opinion on digital currency, bro? You better jump in now. You better jump in now. If you just figuring out about it, but you way behind in the game, jump in now and do your fucking research. Do your fucking research on the utility of whatever you're investing in. Do your research. Do your fucking research. Fuck. Do your fucking research. Do your fucking research. The entire global financial structures are changing. I did not just say money. I said finance. I didn't know there was a difference either. The entire financial structure of the global system is changing right now. If you're just getting into digital currency, you're way behind. And if you don't jump in and get you a position, you're not going to get one in, in, in a year, two years, five years. Yeah, five years, absolutely not. You won't even have an option. You won't even have an option. Get into it now. Please get a position outside of the traditional financial system. Otherwise, you're just going to be a fish in the net. Right? And, and, and digital currency is, is the beginning. It's the blockchain technology. The technology is going to revolutionize shit. The technology is what's going to revolutionize shit. You're investing in the technology. Price action is, is for babies. It's for traders. Unless you're trading... You don't need to worry about price action. Invest in the technology. I'm already on it. Got to put hell time and hours of study and practice. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Look, 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 I'm telling you, get, invest in the technology. The technology is going to revolutionize almost every industry you know. Almost shipping, finance, uh, the legal, accounting, uh, real estate, insurance. My dude, understand it now understand how it works now because if you have to wait for someone else to give you the convenient option you're going to be ass out and getting fucked you're going to be getting ass out and getting fucked yes trust law understand trust law philosophy of law how 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 legal entities and structures are what they are how they're constructed what are the essential elements of them oh my god there's so much game out here y'all there's so much fucking game like 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 um metaverse land like digital land like that's like getting a website in the 80s that's like getting a website in the 80s like they get in now <laughs> i heard about i heard about one country trying to put their their consulate in a metaverse i was like what done got it i just seen the video yesterday uh disney's got the omni omniversal floor where you can be standing in the same place and just walk it <sighs> It's, go, it's going down and niggas is missing out because they worried about Trump and the latest gossip with celebrities. What's Will and Jada doing? What's that fucking performative bullshit? Like, my, the latest Kanye. Oh, it's Kanye, dude. Like, like I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm telling you, man. 
I didn't know what the BIS was. I didn't know what the the, uh, the the World Bank was. I didn't know what compounding interest was. Compounding interest is the most beautiful thing I've ever heard of. Oh my fucking god! Especially automated. What? Y'all niggas talking about price action right now? Invest in the technology. Invest in the technology. Tokenization of assets. If I wanted to buy a house in Japan today, I'd have to go through so much fucking red tape. Not even talking about the the the, the transfer of, of of the money from from wherever the fuck I am to wherever the fuck they are. Not even talking about that. That could take days. That could take days. I'm just talking about just the red tape of, of how it would validate the ownership of such a thing. You put that shit on a blockchain, tokenize it, digital currency, I can have that done in seconds and verify it anywhere in the world. Let's say I bought the property in, uh, in today's system. If I bought the property today, it would take me like a month at least before I could validate that ownership and do something with it in a different country. What's stop? This planet is global now. Niggas is missing it. Trying to hold down their fucking block. Nigga, it ain't even your block. My Instagram page, my comments, that ain't even your Instagram page. Ownership. And not, not, and not ownership for the sake of ownership. Ownership for the sake of control. Words mean something. Anybody got some info? Bang my DM. I'm ignorant. Nigga, don't uh uh-uh. Don't wait for the handout. Don't baby it. Mommy, give me some more peas. No. Hit the internet. Any word I just said you don't know, look it up. I'm telling you. They meant everything. Gas fee is gonna be affordable with better tech. Anybody talking about Ethereum? Get out of here. Ethereum's trash. Oh my god, there's so much better. Ethereum's old. Like that's like niggas who think who think this Bitcoin shit is just now here. Like nigga, nigga, I heard about Bitcoin ten years ago when I, I still had no liquid, I still had no liquid assets to buy any then. I, did, I didn't comprehend what it was. I had no idea. I'm still still living, still living paycheck to paycheck kind of shit, nigga. It's it, but it's, it's rough. But I'm telling you, get a position now because you won't be able to get a position before. And like, bro, saving money is gonna be a thing of the past. If you don't know what a central bank digital currency is, you way behind. You way behind. You you already set up to be ass out. You already set up to be ass out, bro. Imagine an account where you work you work your ass off to put that money in there. I'm saving up for the future. Uh-uh. There's a limit. You can only hold money in an account for three to six months. Otherwise, boom, it disappears. You can't control it. Paying taxes, thing of the past. Taking taxes, fuck you, Ha! Niggas, you don't you gotta understand the technology. Oh my god. Clawback features, automated market, automated market makers. Oh it's gonna be outstanding. And niggas who are who are who are caught up on price action, they're done. Nigga, price action, if you're using price action to determine what's going on, you missed it. Understand the utility of the technology. Governments will be able to verify documents cross borders in seconds. Funds cross borders in seconds. Instantly. And you'll have more information in the transaction than you've ever had before. Bless stop. Bless stop. Because once finance changes, that's going to change everything else. Heard a CBDC report on Bitcoin when I was in 10th grade. I had no money or awareness. Damn, 10th grade. Oh, shit, what's up? See, man, bro, there's so much game out here. There's so much game. And don't and don't don't run and expect your family to get together and understand it together, because they won't. You need to get it. You need to get it. This is not something someone is gonna spoon feed you, brother. Shit I've done on, on fucking content, like for, for the masculine shit, that's the most spoon feeding you're ever gonna get. Crypto, there's so many spoons out, but they're scams. Do your research. Automated market makers, looking that up, bruh. DeFi? Ooh, decentralized finance? Bruh. Because these, look, motherfuckers are thinking, hold the assets, you can sell it when the price goes up. Nigga, that's dumb. That's dumb. You sell it, you're going to have a capital gains tax. And then what are you selling it into? You're pricing the crypto in, in dollars, right? 
You ain't been you ain't been looking at the world stage. What's stop? Petro dollars done, been done for a few years. Bricks is on the way, boy. Digital Yuan is on the way, nigga. Niggas don't get it. Niggas don't get it. You ain't looking. You ain't watching. You watching reels. What's stop? What you gonna do when when when, it, when 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 the price of it in dollars goes high? You gonna sell it in dollars? What stop? Uh uh-uh. uh. First of all, that's capital gains tax. Second of all, if you, the, the repayment of a loan is not a taxable event. If you borrow against it, you'll never have to sell the asset. More especially if you if you if you have it locked piece of it locked in the automated market maker, where you're gaining yield from loaning it out. What stop? What stop? You'll never have to sell the asset. Solana and Avalanche chains got the lowest gas prices. Bruh, Solana's a corporate chain. That should be going out. I mean, the, the, the prices are low because it's completely centralized. They it, like find a, find a decentralized blockchain that does that. Avalanche is Avalanche be doing the thing. Though. I'm saying I wish I had the liquid income to diversify. I don't have a diverse. I, I would love to have a diverse portfolio. And I know niggas who got expendable income that have no idea what's going on. It's dumb. I don't get it. I need to stop watching reels. Dopamine junkie. Hell yeah, bro. That, that broke shit. Hell yeah. Look, bro, get out the reels. They're so like, and that's the crazy shit, bro. The World Economic Forum will just post their shit. And now there's a few. There was one, uh, there was one presentation they did on cryptocurrency. Uh, it was only up there for like, I want to say less than an hour. Because they were doing it live, but then they made that shit private. Uh, but most of the shit they just put right on there. Bro, there's so much of this shit that's public. That's why the distraction has to be so big because they cannot, you're not allowed to hide it. Hell, you don't want to hide it. You want your investors to see. Mm. I'm telling you, man, it help. It's hella good channels. Also, you talk to people that knows more and actually make profits from any crypto or day trading. It's hella knowledgeable people. You can connect with them in group chat. Yeah, see, most of the people who know about this are day traders. That's where a lot of the people who, who are interested in crypto got interested in it. But Price action. See, traders are interested in price action because they're they're making a yield off of the volatility in the price. Um, like when the price goes down, they buy it. When it goes up, they sell it. And the difference is they yield. Uh, and so they make yields off of just little little fluctuations in the price. So they're worried about price action. But if you're invested in the utility itself, when the utility gets the usage, then the price goes up inevitably. And it's a whole different thing from stocks, bro. Like, oh my God, all the stocks are going to be tokenized. Niggas is way behind. I'm talking on so many different fronts. I be seeing shit happening. I just don't be understanding what it is exactly and don't be looking it up. That's what I'm saying. That's the easy going shit, bro. Like, if you don't understand, you have, there needs to be a thirst in you to be looking it up. Like, bro, you got to be thirsty for that shit. Like you thirsty for a a cute picture on Instagram, bro. I'm telling you, you got to be thirsty for this shit. Just got to lock in and ask the right questions. Asking the right question is half of getting the appropriate answer. Yes, sir. Ask the question again. Change your words. Re, re, bro, I, I just learned about private equity. Oh, my God. Like I said, I didn't say money. I said finance. Oh, my. Compounding interest. I just can't get over that. I never, I've never learned so much about finance in my life. Open the fucking door. Be the nigga that's dumb. Say, I don't know. Put on your dunce hat and start learning, bro. For real. For real. The only way to ask the right question is to begin with asking the wrong ones. I don't like that. You got to. You got to, bro. You got to ask dumb questions. And you see, y'all motherfuckers is lucky you got someone to ask. The niggas who don't have no one to ask, they just got to They gotta fuck around and find out. You comfortable. You spoiled for choice. Get your spoiled out that get your spoiled ass out there and learn, bro. First thirsty for them Instagram cheeks, right? That virtual cheeks. See, get the fuck out of here. Most of us be waiting till we fuck to care. Exactly. You wait till life to push your hand, to make you force to play your hand. Nah, nigga, play the win. Mm-mm. Reels don't make you real. Nah, bro. That shit weak. That shit weak. Get out of it. There's so much game out here. There's so much game. Oh my God, there's so much game on anything you want to know. On anything, you just have to fucking ask. See, that's why the distraction has to be so big. So you never even think there's something to ask. Not a, if you never even thought there was something to ask, you won't even get around to learning how to ask the right question. 
the double bluff. That's why the distraction is so big because you can't hide the thing. It's always right in front of you. But if you don't know what you're looking at, you don't see nothing. And if you're comfortable with not seeing nothing because you you know you're spoiled for choice. Mm-mm. Yeah, yeah, the age of information. See, motherfuckers talking about the age of, this is the age of knowledge, the age of Aquarius. Then, no, oh, nigga, this, yeah, this is the age of knowledge. Get out here and get that shit. It don't mean you just know because you feel good. It don't mean you just know because you ain't fucked up yet. Nah, nigga, you need to realize you about to get fucked before they put a dick in your ass. You should be able to tell, hold on, why am I getting set up like this? Hold on, my, see, I'm, look how I'm positioned. What is, hold on, is that, va- what we all doing with the Vaseline? No, I got to get out of here. What's going on? Y'all motherfuckers sitting around up under the tree just chilling. Now, everything will be good. I mean, they ain't really, really doing it. I mean, it looked like speculation. There's so much free game out here on so many different things. Niggas, niggas think so small. Now, I get it when you're young, when you're a baby, that's cool. You don't want to be at my age still thinking small. And if you are, you you can't be spending time on no fucking reels, bro. This is your life that's at stake. This is your life, bro. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is your life. Think Aries is just being hyperbolic. That's the word. Think I'm just being hyperbolic. Uh-uh. Nope. Not being fancy here, sir. It is your life that is at stake. And if you don't understand what I mean by that, you're your dumbass better ask a fucking question. Or just wait. <laughs> just wait. Because <laughs> it, it, it could all be so simple, bro. It could all be so simple. You can sit there in the shadows and agree with me and think we're friends because of that. But stop. Nope. We can't even qualify to be friends until you actually get some of this shit. Otherwise, you're just another mouth to feed. Just another brush. Stop. Yeah, man, there's so much game out here. Get on this game, y'all. Um, and get in the guild, bro. Get in the guild so you're, out, you're not out here spiritual simping, bro. So you're not out here mystifying the mundane and being a bitch, nigga. And if you're actually doing some work and you need some tools, hit up a cultcornerstore.com. But most of you niggas ain't actually doing no work. I know. It's, it's, it's fine. It's whatever. Y'all have a good day, man. Appreciate you.